How's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Super awesome. Subscribe and smash the thing. Smash, like, and yeah. <coughs> what's shaking? What's happening? Hey, here we are with an awesome Schecter. I don't normally see these come across my table very often, but when I do, it's cool to pick them up and check them out because I like Schecter. I'm not going to lie. This is the PT Special. Look at that thing. Sweet. This is the... Um, Something transburst, ivory, something like that, yada, yada, yada. What's up? Look at that. Look at that. Sweet. Um, let me run through a couple things on this guitar. Um, I got my notes here, so I'm just going to read a couple things off. How did, you know, how to look it up, because the tag that was on here didn't really have a lot of information. So this is the model, is the PT Special, uh, made in South Korea. Uh, it is a three-tone sunburst pearl. You gotta see it. The camera doesn't really do justice. Maybe you've seen a little, uh, the short that I made on this thing. It's pretty cool. Uh, what else? We got the tuners of the Grover Vintage Tuners, which is awesome. Totally, totally, totally. Uh, fretboards, maple. The neck uh, materials, maple. Pfft. Black dots on it. Uh, somewhere on here, it says what it is. It's basically, it's uh, swamp ash. Material swamp ash with the uh, binding cream one. One, that looks cool. That looks really cool. Definitely. Uh, the pickups. You guys wonder what the pickups are. In the bridge uh, position, you've got a VT1, uh, Schechter Diamond VT1. And in the neck, you've got the Diamond uh, V90. So, yeah, very, very cool. And, of course, the metal knurled uh, volume. And it's got a split coil. I just found that out the other day because I've just kind of fooled around with it. I've had it for a couple days. And, uh, yeah, there you go. If you're interested in checking this thing out, or if you've seen one, or if you're looking to buy one on the market, they are quite nice. If you're a telly guy, I like tellies. I like it. Let's do this. Let's do this the JCM 2000 into my two notes. And of course, I had a complaint last week. I'm not going to mention the name. Your sound is horrible. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. Try not using your cell phone to listen to half these things. If you do, use earbuds or use a computer or just not at all. I appreciate your comments, though. Thank you. Keep sending comments down below. Do you like Schecter? What's your favorite guitar from Schecter? I want to know, because maybe if I can find it, I'll review it. Sure. Let's do this. So, and yeah. Yeah, the bridge position. <laughs> Try this. It should be two volumes, right? No, one volume. There we go. One volume. I thought I was two. But that's where the pull pull comes in. The pull. Cool. All right, back to where I was in the bridge position. Tune, is it? Is it? Got it. In the middle position.
and the next. <laughs> Pretty straightforward. I like it. I might have to cue a little bit differently, but uh, it's got a lot of high twang, so maybe pushing it through like a Marshall might not be the case. You might want something like a Fender DeVille, something more bluesier, because it tends to saturate from my, you know, from what I can hear. Um, I'll EQ it. By the time you hear this, it might be a little bit better, but uh, for the most part, yeah, it's a little high pitched to my, to my liking. Let's do a split coil. A little more bluesier, I like it. Go to the middle. There you have it. So, all right. Not too bad. Can't really complain. So, uh... ba bam. Uh, so for the most part, it's pretty cool. I dig it. Uh, like I said, just change the EQ. The back looks beautiful. Uh, kind of like I said, kind of hard to tell with the camera and everything else, but uh, the finish is just gorgeous. It's got a nice feel to it. The neck feels great. Uh, jumbo frets, 22 of them, and uh, yeah, check it out. Wow, look at that. But bam, pretty cool. So yeah, have you? Like I said, I want to hear your comments back, feedback. Do you like Schecter? What's your favorite guitar from Schecter? So far, I've tried different ones. I like these ones because they look cool and they kind of go a little bit out of the way, just a little bit differently than, uh, than Fender does. And uh, yeah, all right. I've been Steve, you've been great. Thanks for your subscription. Thanks for your support. Until next time, we'll see what else coming up down the pipeline I got going on. All right, cheers. Mm -hmm.